here let's make a fresh new project for this all right so here we are with the blank project let's go ahead and let's just get rid of lots of this stuff and so now let's go up here and let's add something let's do all classes and let's go to text let's see let's add a text field all right there we go text render actor all right let's see let's uh, get this rotated around so we can actually see it uh, yeah there we go I'm not sure if uh, you guys have used uh, the text field in Unreal Engine before it's pretty neat you can uh, you know upload some fonts and change things around and uh, have some 3d text in your screen you can change the text here and it'll just be example so what we're going to do here is we're going to create uh, an event that we can trigger that will uh, update this text on a timeline in a sequencer so uh, if you wanted to have a message that was changing in your sequencer or if you wanted to do something like a lyric video or something and you wanted to be able to go back and adjust when the the uh, keyframes changed at a later point along with the music this is how you would do that all right so we need this to be a blueprint so that we can add some code so let's select this use this button go to convert selection to blueprint class this will automatically select everything and create a new subclass of this text render actor um, I'm just gonna leave that name to that this is just an example okay so here we go now we're in the blueprint so we want to go over to the event graph and we're not gonna need either one of these so let's just get rid of those so we're gonna right click to create a new node and we want to create uh, or sorry this is custom create add custom event there we go this is what we want and let's name this um, show text okay and let's see we want to go ahead and create a couple of variables here to hold our data so let's uh, say this is going to be uh, our text items okay and this is going to be uh, this is going to be text and we're going to um, let's see right click this so that sorry left click that so that it can become an array we're going to store all of our messages here uh, and we're going to create another variable that is just going to be the index and this is going to not be an array and it's just going to be an integer and this is going to be the index of which text item of this array that we're going to show okay so let's go ahead and bring text items out to here let's go ahead and bring index out to here okay so we're going to want to set the text on this so let's do set text uh, set text to have the text render object and that goes ahead and gives you the proper target here We'll just move that uh, down here somewhere. This is all fine. Uh, and let's put this execution flow. Let's plug that in like that. And so now we need to know what the value is. And so we're going to grab one of the items from here and put it into here. So let's uh, bring off of this. So let's say get. We want to get uh, as reference. And what we want to get is whatever the index is. Okay. Um, and then we're going to put that value into here so whatever the index is it's going to grab that number from this uh, array and it's going to set the text of the text render object to that okay so let's see let's go ahead and make sure that this uh, we want this to be private we want um, the default value to be zero um, arrays always start with zero instead of one um, and so that's the key thing to keep in mind that the first item in this is actually the zero index uh, okay, so let's see. Now we'll take the text items here and um, we can ex expose that instance editable, editable. That way we can just change it in the editor. Um, and that's fine for now. Let's uh, actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and add some things here. Let's see. Um, great. Okay, so we've got some words here that I would like to uh, show to everyone. And so let's see, let's compile this, let's save this. And oh, one more thing we need to do after we set the text, we need to uh, increment. So we should just be able to plus plus increment integer. And what we want to increment is this index. Okay, and so what this is going to do is Whenever this is set one, it's going to take that index and say, hey, just increment yourself and, and wait until you're called next time. So we'll compile, compile that, we'll save that, and let's go back over here and let's go ahead and create a new level sequence. We'll just keep it named that. Uh, let's see, everything else here is fine. Let's go ahead and just select this again. That way we can add text uh, render actor blueprint to the scene. We want to attach an event. We want to do a trigger here. Okay, and so we want to do a trigger. 
we want to um, actually we'd already done that so um, so let's go out a little bit here and let's add a keyframe like this and so now once I've got that keyframe, I will right click on the keyframe, go to properties. For the event, we want to create new endpoint, and that's going to bring up the blueprint for the sequencer. Okay, and so this is the event that is called by the sequencer, and then this in turn is going to call the uh, show text function that we created in our other one. I have to click off of this context sensitive so that it will know how to find that but that's how you can make it find it you just wire that to there you wire that to there and that's all good so let's see maybe we should rename this to uh let's do that because we're going to be creating another one of these in just a minute okay so let's just double check and make sure that this uh shows the first thing so we want to first of all go into simulation mode so that this down here will work and let's see if it changes the text great so it changed to the first word. So now let's make it show all of the words. Let's add a keyframe here. Let's add a keyframe here. Let's add a keyframe here, a keyframe here. And I wanna stay within the bounds of our index, although we're getting ready to add a check for this in just a minute. So let's see, let's wind this back. Oh, and as you can see, it's already incremented to the next one. It never does a reset. So actually, let's let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Let's go back over to our text render blueprint, and we are going to stop simulation, and let's add a new custom event here. Add custom event, and we're going to call this uh, reset index. Okay, and so what we're going to do here is we're going to reset that index. Okay, and so let's see. Let's just pull this like this. Let's say set index. And we just want to set index back to zero. That's all we're doing there. So let's see, let's compile, let's save this. Let's close this out one more time. Let's go back to our sequencer. Um, and here, let's add a new event track just to kind of keep this clean. So let's do a trigger here. And at the very beginning of it, I'm going to set a keyframe here. And on this one, let's create another new endpoint. And this one we're going to name um, uh, reset index event like this okay and so then we're going to yep yeah, you guessed it we're going to reset index gotta turn this off to make sure we get the right one from our blueprint we wire this up then this up and so now we're good with this we compile we save we close this and so now this should be setting index back to zero every time that it goes through that key point so let's see yeah okay but we're not actually incrementing these other things just yet so what's wrong with that let's go and figure out what's going on in our blueprint okay so the thing that we forgot to do here is we forgot to we created the key points but we never actually set them to an event and so I just need to do this we want to go to this sequence we want to call a function and here we want to show text event Okay, yep, I see that. It's going to do this every time. It just pops this up to say, say, here's the thing that you just selected. And I'm like, yeah, I'm aware that I just selected that. But in this case, I'm going to select it again. And there it is again. It's going to show it to me each and every time here. Let's see. Let's go to this, this sequence, call function, show text. Yes, there it is again. And we'll go to the final one. And let's see, let's go to the sequence call function show text okay great that should be the last time we need to look at that the play oh there we go what a great message okay so i want to go over one more thing just to kind of keep this clean from a code aspect let's go back into the blueprint for the text field here and let's see let's uh what we want to do here is we want to make sure that the index that we're going to use is actually within the bounds of this array and so let's see what we want here is we want a branch a branch is the way that you do a uh, if else conditional in unreal engine and so let's just go ahead and stick that in the middle here so if this is true we want to set the text and the condition that we want here is we want to pull off from the uh, text items and we want to get the length of this Okay, and so this is how many that there are. Uh, and keep in mind that this is going to be starting from one. So if there are five items in this, this is going to be uh, five in the length, but the index would be zero to four. Okay, so it's a little confusing there. So now we wanna make sure that the index that we're trying to use is within the bounds of the length of this, so that the index of this is less than, than the length of this. So let's pull the index off here. Let's say less than, okay. 
and it's less than the length of this, okay? And so if it is, then we're good. We know that we've got a value in this array and we're true here. If it's not, we're going to go through and reset. Okay, let's uh, compile this and let's give it a shot and make sure that this still works. Great. I hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching.